this pretty important milestone in our transit across Mexico. We had uh, left Ensenada in the beginning of April and now we are currently in Mazatlan at the beginning of May and we needed to get to Huatulco in southern Mexico by beginning of June to avoid the full brunt of the hurricane season that picks up steam then. We had some work to do in the city of Mazatlan like repair the nets that had blown out during our passage across the Sea of Cortez and we ended up meeting other sailors like Brian with his folding catamaran which had trailered down from Jackson Hole and then we also saw a sister ship believe it or not for Aldebaran our 1968 McCulliard designed trimaran being now used for charter work all the way down here in Mazatlan. visiting crew Eric and Brian had taken off but we had a number of people scheduled to join us in the next couple months including Sabrina's brother Pierre and his girlfriend Liana who were going to come meet up with the boat in a few days. For now though it was just going to be the four core crew during this next leg but we kept ourselves busy everything from harvesting some coconuts. First green coconuts of the green coconut rock. Woo! to getting microplastic samples for adventurers and scientists for conservation. It's an estuary area over here. Um, looks like there's a good, good share of pollutants running around in this industrial port, um, largest shrimping capital of the world. So we're interested to see what the water samples will deliver. We finally sailed out of Mazatlan and straight into a night watch on our way to Isla Isabella, which is known as the Galapagos of Mexico. And with good reason, we are about to get stunned by an amazing amount of wildlife. Our first stop that morning was Islote Pelon, a submerged crater on the northwest corner of the island. River of frigate birds. You understand that now, what you choose to do beneath these horizons and all the school. The suicides people lay on you. They dig out their sorrows so they give it to you. Hail the last soul in that drawer Between year and test and all the rest of you Scream and sing It's getting me like cold and stung and I would have come out and I'm like, oh my god! There's like more! There's like bear schooling bear kudos like schooling gymnastics Whale sharks coming at me Let's get that meat. Yeah. Yummy. Oh, yeah. Damn. Woo. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, nice. We then went to an anchorage on the east side of the island, Las Monas, which has arguably the best holding ground on the whole island, an incredible beach, and insane free diving. Eyes to the ground when you walk away 
These people, they toil, my sister, she slaves Xanax kitchen boil, these forests they pave The kids, they grow up down the state The man always came home too late To mow the lawn or clean his plate When the sink goes out and the mud slides down Don't worry your head with these rains we dread This is the Galapagos of Mexico, just 80 some miles of Mazatlan Look at all these birds up here. It's just never seen so many birds in my life, or fish for that matter. It's insane. It's huge. Oh man, what is that? Ryan, I think you owe some penance. For what? For what? I can't remember. I think it had to do dispute. with leaving, leaving dispute. stuff oh, out. Disputes are only valid the day of. That was from yesterday. Yeah, that was from yesterday, and it's about to be the next meal. So thus, Almost gonna get it interest. is time. Whatever you do. I have no idea what I did wrong. I'm doing double penance. <laughs> <laughs> I just lie and have everyone else do my penance. I think I owe you a few. <laughs> now that the crew yeah. was sufficiently punished for cluttering up the boat, we went around the south side of the island and anchored by the fish camp where we could do a hike up to the top of the hill. This beautiful little cove and more eye candy for us to check out. This gorgeous little cloud dotty. Elegant creatures against the guano white background. Technically, this is the entrance to the uh, national park at Isla Isabella, but it seems to have been abandoned, so we just explored at will to check out all the huge colonies of nesting seabirds and the amazing views. Oh, wow. So many birds. It came hiking up here to uh, the top of the hill where you have a 360 degree view of everything, including these beautiful boobies. Must be hundreds of them. Everything is covered in guano. It doesn't smell too bad because it's so windy. What do you think? Wow, that was really awesome. My mom would love this place. She would freak out. Bird Central. Wow. And that's how we left Isla Isabella, this remarkable island, just 15 miles from the closest point on shore, but it's a world away. The park infrastructure is pretty rugged, but the land and the sea are being protected, including concessions to the local fishermen, which creates a nice balance between humans and nature. And so we paddled back to Aldebaran and hoisted sail, heading down towards Chacala, which is just north of Puerto Vallarta, where we meet up with Pierre and Liana who are joining us on this next leg heading south.